Hi everybody, welcome to the Home of Crybaby Performance where we try and they cry. Today Briggs released this press release to show how they take 3,600 points on a camshaft to make sure they're all exactly the same. Then why don't the engines run the same? Why is one faster than another? We'll explore. This is the brand new L206 stock in the box. It's supposed to be race ready. Just take it out of the box, bolt it on your car, and you're just as fast as everyone else. That couldn't be farther from the truth. We crack open the box. Here's your brand new L206. It looks just like all the others. I don't see any difference. How can it just not be as fast as the others? Well, what you can't see is what's inside of the engine. That's what we're gonna start talking about today. Here's the cam out of the L206. As you can see, we have several of them laid out with the spec sheet right next to them. With a degree wheel and some mathematics, you can figure out exactly what you have. From Briggs, the box stock cam comes very close to one another. And then the funny business begins. Not at Briggs, but with Briggs rule set, allowing four degrees on either side in their cam spec. That gives the engine builder plenty of room to play. Here's a close up of that L206 cam and you can see the manufacturing process on this piece is phenomenal. It's like a piece of jewelry. The sides of the lobes are smooth. All the machining is exact. You couldn't ask for a better piece, probably within a half degree from one to another over the course of 40 or 50 of these things, which is totally acceptable. So why do they allow eight degrees on the first number and every number after that four degrees with a two degree swing on each side? I think it would be fair to be a half degree on each side and also put a center line in there. So then we know no funny business or no twist has been applied. Just for comparison, here's the animal cam. You can see how rough the sides are, and you can see that the machining is a little bit rougher, and it's just not a precision piece, not like the L206 cam. But again, if you have a cam grinder, this cam can be exact over and over again with that machine. Here's the new rule from Briggs. We examine the numbers and nothing has changed from the old rule book. So when you take the intake side at 0 .006, which is six thousandths, they're giving you 59 to 51. That's eight degrees. The next line, they give you four degrees, but if you read the note above, they're giving you a maximum of two degrees without an issue. That means two degrees on each side, so that gets you right back to the eight degrees. Eight degrees or four degrees on each side is huge. That opens it up about as wide as you can get it. On big car cams, you could put a pin in and advance and retard it four degrees. This page on the Briggs site addresses my cam timing issue with them. And now they added, oh, look, we're going to scare people by saying we have the data off their cam, so you better not twist them. This is not scaring anybody, I can assure you that. Here's a cam grinding machine. This is how cams are ground. This is a single cylinder engine cam being ground on this machine. As you can see, it's 50 years old. They've been doing this forever. It's nothing new. This is a cam grinding disc. So you can see how big this disc is. The machine rotates around, follows the disc, and cuts the cam. So this 12 inch disc is what's cutting your little one inch cam. They are never out of accuracy. This disc would have to be way out for that cam to be way out. So this is how they're made. To find out where your cam is, it's pretty simple. 
you get a degree wheel. They sell these at any auto parts store. They've been degreeing cams and big engines for as long as a V8's been around. You rotate, you find top dead center, you pick the numbers off the cam, and you write the profile. Not a big deal. All the cams are the same, but not when you get an engine builder's engine. Now they're all twisted in a favorable position. How can that be when they came from the factory all the same? Because Briggs is allowing an eight degree window, which is plenty of room. You only need two to four degrees to get a rocket. They're allowing four degrees on each side, which is eight, which is plenty to enhance any slow motor. This is one of my favorite books, Smoky Unit, Speed Secrets, on my coffee table. I read it all the time, pick it up, refresh my memory, read a paragraph. If you wanna know about cams and cam timing, it's all in the book. Just pick it up and read it. Here's a page out of that book. It has a diagram of the camshaft. It even tells you in the paragraphs. If you twist those lobes together, you're gonna to get high end. If you twist them apart, you're gonna get low end. Trust me, you want high end. It's all right here in the book. Again, here's the L206 cam. So what can Briggs do about this? Pretty simple. Briggs can write a spec in their manual that's a half a degree from where this cam actually specs out. They can also call out the center line of the cam. That way, you would instantly know if anybody tampered with the cam. Why won't they do it? Briggs is protecting the engine builder. The engine builder controls the sport. The engine builder decide who get what engine, and that's why Briggs won't fix it, because the same kids would not win in the end. If you want to check it out for yourself, get a degree wheel, pop your head off, and start degreeing your cam. You will find that the cam comes out the same every single time. I've had all the engine builders, engines across my bench. I know what they're doing. Some are a little more, some are a little less, but they're all taking advantage of the rule because it is so wide open and the degrees are so many. In the close-up of the degree wheel, you can see the two red marks. That's five degrees right there. Briggs is giving you eight degrees, four degrees on each side. Those are my twist marks right there. So I can figure out where I'm going, where I've been, how much to twist. If you think it's not getting done or being done out there, you're wrong. It's been confirmed over and over. Thanks for watching our Briggs video on cam timing from the home of Crybaby Performance, where we try and they cry.